This week on The Choice. This hunt is kind of the way everyone used to hunt bears, where we pack into a backcountry camp, you stay in a, in a tent camp with the bears, you're up there all by yourself, and all you see is the other people in camp and a bunch of bears. That's a good bear. We're going to do this thing Bliss Creek style. Hunting is not about the trophy. It's about the challenges that we face as hunters, and it is our choice how we pursue our prey. Hunting doesn't end when you spot your game. That's when the challenge begins. Closing the distance, becoming part of your surroundings, playing the wind, being patient, and waiting for that moment of truth. From the maximum highs to the ultimate lows, there is no way of predicting how things will turn out. For us, it's about the adventure. The journey. The moments that we share as a family. This, this is, is why, why we hunt. hunt. This, this is, is our choice. choice. Nice. Ooh, bearing down, baby. This week on The Choice, that's what we're doing. This week on The Choice? Yes. Where are we going? Bliss Creek Outfitters. Yeah, it's actually a really cool hunt. It's horseback for black bears. It's in the wilderness. It's pretty, it's just really cool. It is. And it's in the lower 48. There you go. See, everyone always asks us if we ever hunt in the lower 48 there for bears, go. and now we do. How about yes. that one? Okay, oh. this week's lucky logo? Yes. Tenzing. Tenzing, the ultimate in backpacks. You name it, they got it. To from carbon fiber packs You're going to way. fanny packs. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, watch for the Tenzing logo Damn. at the end. The show will tell you what to do with all of that. So, okay, if you wait that long for a bear shot, though, you're waiting really long. Like, you need to execute your shot quicker. I'm executing my shot the way I execute my shot. Don't. Maybe that's, Don't. Why, maybe that's why I get more critters, because I actually go ahead and get them, and then you're just still waiting for them, and they walk away. Maybe that's what that is. <gasps> go yeah. look at the chalkboard, baby. Chalkboard? Yeah. Oh, chalkboard. I'm on the board. You're not. Really? Yeah. How do you figure oh, that? Oh, yeah. Oh. You're, what chalkboard are you oh. talking about? Oh, wait, about? I was talking about a black-tailed deer. Did you get one with your bow? I don't think so. So oh, what? Shucks, I did. Really? Yeah. Is that how you're going to be? Absolutely. Okay. Heading to Cody, Wyoming, Bliss Creek Outfitters. Just got into Cody, <clears throat> waiting for our shuttle from the hotel. Took a plane from Chicago to Salt Lake, Salt Lake to here. We're gonna go get a bite to eat and then catch up with the outfitter and talk about tomorrow's uh, agenda. Hunters arrive in Cody. I pick them up in Cody. We drive to the Bear Camp Trailhead, which is about a five hour drive in the Bighorn Mountains. Looks like we got some weather coming up on the mountains over here, so we're gonna stop and throw a tarp over our bags and gear, try to keep it as dry as possible. Well, we just got to the horses. We're gonna head about a half mile down the road, get things packed up here, head down a half mile, we've got a bridge to cross, and then we'll be into the mountains on horseback. So this is turning out to be quite the adventure. I mean, this is this is God's country here. We're getting the mules packed up and uh, getting ready to head up the trail here. This is awesome. <laughs> the bear hunts are a seven day pack in trip. Camp consists of wall tents. Hunters are two hunters per tent. Each tent has wood stoves, propane lanterns. Uh, we have a big cook tent. Outside the cook tent is a, is a fire pit with a flyover where we do most of the nighttime meals and everything. Everything's cooked over an open fire. 
or most of the meals. We have a heated shower tent, uh, corral set up for the horses. It's just the old style Western type hunting camp. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over how we're gonna hunt, how we run the camp, etc. So, so you guys don't have any questions on what's going on once we get out there. Okay, the first thing is <clears throat> right now we're in, a, in a, any weapon season. Okay, which means by law you must wear hunter orange. In Wyoming, the the regulation is one garment. Most people, it's a hat. You have to have your hat on when we leave camp and have it on when we come back in. Make sure as soon as you get in the tree stand, you put on your safety belt. I can't stress enough that you have to take a good shot. What you're looking at, a bear's organs are gonna be farther forward than, than a deer. The front shoulder comes farther back. The, the perfect shot is with the bear quartering away and it takes that front shoulder, or that front leg, and reaches into the barrel to grab something and exposes all that. If, it's, if the light's getting where you can't make a good shot, come down. We'll take you to the bait. We're gonna wait till you get up in your tree, till you have your harness on and you have your bow and everything's good. And then we'll take off and wait for you by the mules. You got your license? Yep. Okay, in the back. Let's go. After an hour and a half mule ride back here, we're uh, heading to the stand now. We're gonna get the spider out and see what we can accomplish tonight. It's been quite the journey this way. This is, this is a great hunt. The mule packing and everything it definitely adds a, a spice to the trip. So we'll hold on here with us and uh, let's see what shows up tonight. bear first night it's still really early so uh, we're gonna let that one see what it does but it's not big enough even if it does come into the bait let's stick around and see what happens typical day of bear hunting is um, it's not like rush rush elk hunting where you get up early in the morning and hunt all day late in the evenings we only hunt in the evenings so we usually try to get on the stands about five o'clock, hunt till dark, which is usually nine, nine thirty. Our first night's drawn to an end now, and just the one bear that we seen earlier. But uh, looking forward to meeting up with Tim and Matthew out here for our ride back, and uh, hopefully Eli has our supper waiting for us. So Scotty's up tomorrow night, so we'll see what happens for him. Hunts are anywhere from a 10 minute walk from camp to a two hour horseback ride. When we arrive back at camp, we have supper. I meant to do that. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> Give one the fire god? No, no it, was, it was about halfway there. It was a quarter of the way. Burnt sacrifice. <laughs> Couple bucks. They're all, they're all bucks. Rock season, <laughs> but it's good entertainment. We usually sleep in in the morning since we don't hunt mornings. Mornings you're only gonna have your sub-adult bears on, on the bait. So that's a good opportunity for during the day for the hunters can either go with us to check baits, um, can shoot their bows, can relax. It's a very relaxing hunt. Everybody sees bears and a very successful hunt.
This hunt is kind of the way everyone used to hunt bears, where we pack into a backcountry camp, you stay in a, in a tent camp with the bears. Uh, about five miles from the nearest road, we hunt horseback from there. There's no ATVs that are used, no boats, no cars, no trucks. You're up there all by yourself and all you see is the other people in camp and a bunch of bears. Well, welcome to uh, my version of Bearing Down for 2013. Now you probably think I'm uh, in Canada, you know, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, one of the provinces. You know, I'm proud to say this bear hunt is made in America. We're hunting with uh, Tim Dowd, Bliss Creek Outfitters out of Cody, Wyoming. My buddy Tim and I are currently at about 8,000 feet in the Bighorn Mountains of Wyoming hunting black bear. Unbelievable adventure so far. It's all packed in on horses and mules. Our camp is at 7,000 feet and we're hunting anywhere from six to nine. You see I'm wearing orange tonight. It's at any weapon season. So we have to follow the rules of the gun. So law states that you need to wear one article of orange. I've chosen my lucky white hat. Stay tuned, we've got about five hours to sit tonight and uh, we're open for some action. We normally see quite a few bears. Some hunters will only see one bear because the first bear that comes in is a big bear. I've had other hunters that have seen 20, 30 bears. Um, a lot of hunters see three to five a night, so that's why you want to be very selective. Too small, isn't it? It just looks long-legged. He's a little small, but uh, absolute gorgeous bear. I uh, do believe that's my first encounter with a color face ever, and uh, wow, he's, he's gorgeous, but uh, he's just, he's too small. Tim, Tim describe it to us, uh, if they look like a dog, long legs, long neck, big ears, and that definitely uh, fits the description for that one, but uh, it's early, and uh, I'm excited, that was a neat encounter. If someone is selective, we run about 80% colored and 20% black, and is lucky also, meaning that the bear presents a shot. The hunts are not designed to come and shoot a bear. The hunts are designed to pick and choose and shoot a big bear. We have a lot of bears, a lot of colored bears, um, so it's an excellent hunt to get a trophy. We only take two hunters per hunt and only six hunters per year. Shoulder, but I think we're just about on the light. It's 
been a great night. I've got some good news, some bad news, and some more good news. Good news is we know there's two big bars on this bait. The bad news is I think one of them's between us and camp right now. Uh, but the other good news is I can outrun Tim, so uh, probably be me filming myself tomorrow. Well, it's the morning and we uh, got out early this morning and found the bear. Last night we had to pull off because of the rain and darkness and unfortunately it rained all night so we didn't have any blood trail. Just an uh, awesome, awesome chocolate colored bear. Couldn't say uh, how much I enjoyed this trip. I mean, it just you can't even put it to words. Uh, I want to thank Tim Dowd here from uh, Bliss Creek Outfitters for the opportunity to come up here and hunt. Yeah, well, thank you guys for coming out. Um, you did excellent. Um, shot a bear. We're about 75 yards from the bait. Uh, we're kind of after that big blonde, but he, you know, with bear hunting, just because you see him, that doesn't mean you yep. you get him in there. But uh, seen a lot of bears. Um, had trouble finding a black colored bear, but seen a lot of colored bears, and and you got a dandy for the wall. And if you're looking for a colored bear. Uh, this is the place to be. If you're wanting an adventure, this is the best place to be. I mean, you can't beat the surroundings. You come in on horse or muleback and it's just just a, a great atmosphere great hospitality great food couldn't couldn't say enough about the food um, but look up tim dowd and bliss creek outfitters and he'll get you hooked up this is an awesome hunt was that a cool hunter what bliss creek outfitters in wyoming yeah in the lower 48 and, and we emphasize that because so many times people have asked us hey guys you know how come you don't hunt bears in the states well that would be a fun one to do. That I, is I a very unique hunt. Yeah, yep. and Tim, congratulations. You know, they had some weather issues. Yeah, what are you going to do? They had a great trip, and that was a really cool hunt. You know, and the was. bottom line here is what we always try to do is we try to show you the real thing. Every trip is not 100% successful. You don't go out yeah, yeah, every time. Yeah, it depends time. on what you consider successful, I guess. That's right. right. That's right. Okay. So the reality of it is, just go hunting. This week's lucky logo? Oh, yeah. With Tenzing. Tenzing. The ultimate in backpacks. So Bottom if line. you happen to see the Tenzing logo, you need to log on to thechoicetv.com, click on Lucky Logo button, fill out some information, 
and someone's gonna win a brand new Tenzing backpack. Woo, woo, and some other stuff, so that's pretty cool. Okay, next week we're heading to Florida. Fl Uncle, Uncle Hops. Hops. Turkey hunting wow. is favorite time of the year. Turkey. Aren't you I'm excited? I'm so excited. Thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. Turkeys. I know you love wow. turkeys, don't you? Isn't that like your Man. favorite? Your ultimate right there, turkeys.